Hi, I'm Nolene, and today I'll be talking to you about how to use Microsoft Whiteboard. Okay, so to begin using Microsoft Whiteboard, you don't actually need to download any software. It is really easy to do and it's already saved on your laptop. So to get started, you just click on the Start button here. And if you go under M for Microsoft Whiteboard, you will see it there. So it's already installed in your device. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to create, these are all the whiteboards that I've got here, we're just going to create a new whiteboard, so we just click on the plus. Now whiteboard is fantastic, particularly if you've got a Microsoft, um, oh, sorry, a Windows uh, 10 device that has a stylus, you're able to write um, on this and annotate it, and again, the fantastic thing about this is it allows you to collaborate. So if you click on this little person with a plus symbol, you can add to anybody, and I can even write people's names and it will find them so if i go my handwriting is a bit terrible but it's all it's trying to find a wayne fort so if i actually try to change that to a wayne forb oh close enough okay can't find my colleague that's not a problem so what we're going to do is once we um, have, and you can have as many um, students as you like on here you can actually click on your pencils here and we can write on here we can raise them out if we've made an error so we can rub that out now I've seen some teachers just do some incredible things using whiteboard so you can draw as much as you like and you can even highlight certain text so if you want to hi oops, if you want to highlight what's happened here if you want to highlight now I'm not changing the color the type of stylus I'm using at all all I'm doing is controlling it by all of these objects down the bottom uh, where there is a ruler here as well and this is fantastic for students who are doing handwriting and it's actually quite intuitive I'm actually using my hand here to turn that around and make it as a straight line as possible so if I wanted to practice my handwriting with a stylus I could actually I'm trying to write a, do a black line that goes across the page and then I can remove the ruler and I can actually use that as my guide so I can practice my handwriting using that which is fantastic. I can add text so rather than just type I can just actually type as well and the great thing about this is that um, you don't actually have to be online at the same time with your students because it is a collaboration tool. So I'm just trying to grab that and move that. I might need to use there we go. Um, because it's a collaboration collaboration tool. Your students can actually use this without you being online at the same time, which is great. You can add a note. And you can actually um, insert images as well. And you can use the image library, the Bing image, which is all Creative Commons image, or use the camera. So if you want to take a photo of yourself or of your best work, you can do that too. Um, and you can also insert menu options as well. So a fantastic tool for you to use. By clicking on this back arrow bot button, it will automatically save my work. So you don't have to worry about saving it. And you can continue to collaborate in a long time. Again, using your fingers, you can also zoom in and zoom out. So it almost looks like what the Prezi's used to work. So you can actually zoom in and then zoom out and really elaborate um, on certain points. And the great thing about this is the science is infinite. So you can actually do quite a lot of work and have your project grow over time. That's it for me today for Microsoft Whiteboard. If you have any questions or you'd like any comments or further help about this, please feel free to give me uh, send me an email at uh, nolene.com1. Sorry, I want to let me start that again. nolene.calligan1 at det.nsw.edu.au. Thank you.